But if we want to simplify the square root of x to power eight, y to power 10, divided by the cube root of x cubed, multiplied by y to power negative six, giving your answer in the form x to power a, y to power b, where a and b are integers. The first thing we should do is write down some useful index laws that we can use to solve this problem. The first one is the square root of a can be written as a to power a half. The cube root of a can be written as a to the power one third. a to power m raised to the nth power can be written as a to power m times n. And a to power m divided by a to power n can be written as a to power m minus n, where we subtract the powers. The first thing we can do is use the first two rules to remove the radical sign. So we'll write x to power eight, y to power 10, raised to the half power using the first rule, divided by x to power three, y to power negative six, and we'll raise that to one third using the second rule. The next step is to multiply out the powers using the third rule. So we'll have x to power eight times a half, multiply by y to power 10 times a half, divided by x to power three times one third, multiply by y to power negative six times one third. Now we'll simplify the powers. X to power eight times a half is four, times y to power 10 times a half is five, divided by x to power three times a third is one, and times y to the power negative six times a third is negative two. At this step, I'll write my question as a fraction. x to power four times y to power five, divided by x to power one times y to power negative two. Now we'll use the last rule to simplify. We'll have x to power four, minus one multiplied by y to power five minus negative two. Then we can write our final answer as x to power three times y to power seven. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching.